I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about Beehive. It sounds like a fascinating venture firm. Well, let me tell you, I'm really happy to be here, Pimo. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, sure, I'd love to tell you a little bit about Beehive. So Beehive is, uh, an, we're an angel investor, and we invest in products or services that women buy. And since women buy 75% of products and services sold in North America, it gave us a plethora of choices. I think what we do that's very important to Beehive is uh, that we invest in basically training, helping grow the next level of women entrepreneurs. We bring in mentors. It's very important for women to know that, you know, entrepreneurs, what they've gone through, it's a very lonely experience being a CEO. And so to be able to learn from other people that have been there before, as well as we introduce them to other women that are entrepreneurs in similar situations, which gives them the opportunity to pick up the phone and say, hey, have you, what did you do when you went through this? As well as an opportunity, I think what we do at Beehive is bring, bring Canada to Silicon Valley and, you know, Silicon Valley to Canada. I think that for um, Canadians, especially for Canadian women entrepreneurs, it's, we have a big, large, beautiful country. There's a lot of space. We're really nice people, but we have a little bit of a laissez-faire attitude. And so the opportunity of coming down to the valley and sharing the valley's values, which is all about move fast, pivot, reinvent yourself, think big, I think is really important for entrepreneurs from Canada to hear. And the other way around, I think venture capitalists in the Valley are really enjoying coming and discovering Canada, which is only two and a half hours away, at least from the British Columbia side, and seeing all that we have to offer in Canada. We have unbelievable engineers, great schools that produce great people, great companies, and it's a great opportunity for them. The people that we've been bringing have been saying to us, my gosh, we never knew all the opportunities that existed here. And there's so much competition in the Valley that all of a sudden there's a plethora of new companies that open up to them. So I think that's a little bit about what we do at Beehive. Great, great. And what made you get involved in this area personally? <laughs> I'm really passionate about, I, I feel that in my life I've been very lucky. I've had unbelievable male role models and female role models that have really supported and helped me. And there was a real sense of wanting to give back and help other women, especially I know how hard it is for women entrepreneurs to get money to find mentors and to find sponsors and people to help them connect with other people. So that was something that meant a lot to me and I wanted to do that and that's how Beehive was born. Making a real difference now, it's great. We're trying, we're trying. <laughs> and um, I know that the Canadian Tech Women events coming up in, uh, week is coming up in May and uh, I'm wondering how you contribute to that. You know, I'm so excited about that because I think I'm the keynote speaker. So I start off, kick off the four days and what an unbelievable opportunity that the Canadian government has given to Canadian women entrepreneurs. We come down, we bring about 20 women and we introduce them to basically the, you know, the giants of the industry from IDO to Google to Facebook and these women from Canada get to meet some of the big entrepreneurs as well get to meet the venture capitalists, people that they might get to be able to exchange and learn about when they want to raise their own money and they get to meet other women in that same area. So exactly what Beehive does and what we talk about, that ability to exchange and share with each other so they don't feel so all alone. And during those four days, they get to travel to different places. At night, they regroup together. And then the opportunity lasts for at least two more months where they get to be mentored by one of those great people that they've met during their trip here. Incredible opportunity for them, isn't it? I did meet a couple of them last year, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, what caliber you bring down this year. We're very excited. There's a <laughs> lot, a lot of great women applying. It's really a hard decision yeah. to be able to know. But you know, the Canadian government is great because they have other programs, 48 Hours in the Valley, the other, you know, great opportunities for women to come in yeah. and participate in other forms if they don't get into this one. Yep, and I know Cassie, the Consul General, is just so supportive of women entrepreneurs. So we which is really great um, for oh, Canadian with, women. I so agree. What the Canadian government has done is absolutely fabulous. This supporting women in tech and the ability of bringing in people that are venture capital or angel investors like me that want to invest in women. So we get to meet them, they get to meet us. It's really a win-win situation. And with the new venture capital action plan that the government's got up there, how is that affecting you guys as 
um, investors? Well, it's only in more incentives. So okay. for, for us, we just love the opportunity to meet more people, more brilliant women entrepreneurs, and uh, to help them out in any way we can. Because it is harder for women. It is harder yes. for women to meet people and to lear learn about business. You need some mentors. You need people that sponsor you, that believe in what you're capable of doing. Mm -hmm. And for Beehive, that's what we make a big difference. We spend time coaching and working with women because they don't have as many role models. Yes, yeah. Good so, work. Yeah, this is the reason why I've been um, supporting the funding piece around women because it is much tougher for women well, all been, over the world. You've yeah. been doing a great job with that, Pimo. You've really supported through your blogs in yes. Europe, in yeah. Canada and the yeah. United States. And yeah. We need people like you going out there and making a difference. Yes. Well, I think it's the landscape's changed radically in three years here, even in the valley. So... Um, yeah, I was one of the many voices, but it's great to see so many other people now well, you know, supporting the cause. <laughs> I think you're absolutely, with Mika Brzezinski coming out with her book, with Cheryl coming out with Sandberg, coming out with her book, Lean In, I think we're becoming more aware and that we need men to be part of this whole conversation yes. and at the table. Yes. And I think we all benefit. I mean, the McKinsey Report has shown how bottom line a business does better when you have men and women at yes. the senior executive level. Yes. So we all benefit, which makes sense, yes. right? Because when I know my husband raising children, I do better with him because together we have different opinions, we challenge each other, yes. and the end result is better yes. every time. Yes, more creative when there's two sides of the table being Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. I really appreciate getting your feedback, and um, I'm looking forward to the event in um, May. I look forward to it too, Pimo. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.